Hello, David. Hello, Nadira. We know that risk management integration is important and needed for an effective implementation of risk management. But to what extent should risk management processes be integrated into different disciplines? I think this is an important question. Very many organizations operate their different disciplines in, in separate blocks, in silos, we call them, in, in, in areas which are distinct, which are, have a boundary around them, where they have their own teams and their own processes and their own management and their own reporting, and it just happens like this. So there's finance here, and there's health and safety here, there's operations here, there's strategic planning here, and they don't talk to each other. And clearly, all of those disciplines have a contribution to the success of the overall organization and its outputs. And risk management is one of those disciplines. So all of the other disciplines should be relating together, and risk management as one of them should also be involved. But it's more than that. It's not just saying every discipline in an organization should contribute together to the overall performance of that organization. Risk management is different because it's talking about things that can affect any of our processes, any of our disciplines, any of our projects, any of our operations, every one of those separate disciplines is, is exposed to risk. So there is risk in HR, there is risk in health and safety, there is risk in strategic planning, there is risk in projects, which means that risk management cannot exist on its own. What we're looking at in risk management is understanding the uncertainties that could affect things which are at risk. And things which are at risk exist in each of the other disciplines. So we need to make sure that when they're undertaking their health and safety planning, or undertaking their strategic planning, or undertaking their HR activities or their financial management, each of these different disciplines is thinking about the risks which could affect what they are doing. So risk management really is not like this, it's one of these. Risk management is across here. Risk management goes underneath each of the other disciplines and supports them and, and helps them to understand the risks within their own area and then how those should be managed effectively in order to achieve their contribution to the overall success of the business. So each of those disciplines needs to be aware of what risks they're exposed to, which are the important ones and what they can do about it and undertake a full risk process within that context. What could be the challenges of uh, risk management integration within an organization? A lot of other disciplines <coughs> see themselves as specialists. You know, we are the financial controllers, we are the finance managers. We know about finance, you don't. And so there's no point in talking to HR or operations or strategy about finance because we're the finance specialists. And the, the, the health and safety people say, well, we're the safety experts. We understand all about accidents and incidents and prevention and so on. And don't you talk to us about this because it's our specialist area. And so when you have that specialist thinking, then you tend to reject or resist input from other disciplines because you're the specialist. So how can they help you? How can they speak to you about something which you specialize in? And so when the risk people come and we try and support people in the financial management section, or in the health and safety sector, or in the HR sector, they say, well, what do you know about my discipline? The great thing about risk management is it applies across all disciplines. And we used a word earlier on uh, in one of the other videos about facilitation. The purpose of, risk man or, or purpose of risk specialists is to facilitate the risk process. Now, facilitation comes from an original Latin word, which means easy. So the purpose of the risk specialist, of the risk management team, is to make it easy for other people to understand and manage their risks. So we're not going to tell the finance people about finance. We're going to help them, because it's their specialist area, to understand their risks in their own discipline. And so we're supporting them. We're not taking over. We're not telling them how to do financial control or financial management. We're saying within the area that you specialize in, we can help you manage, identify and manage your risks. We're not going to tell the HR people how to do recruitment and how to do discipline and, and, and interviews, all of those other things that are in their own area, but we facilitate what they are doing by helping them, them to understand and manage the uncertainties that matter. So I think um, the biggest um, barrier is in the people in the disciplines viewing risk management as irrelevant. How can you help me? You don't know my discipline. 
And the answer is, I don't need to know your discipline to help you because I'm facilitating a process where you are in control. It's your specialism, your risks. I will just help you find them and help you deal with them effectively. Excellent, David. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Mm -hmm.